thought she was a lucky winner of a raffle. Now a Cameron County woman is warning others about giving information over the phone. Channel 5 Daisy Martinez in our Cameron County newsroom with more. The promise of an iPad was too good to pass up for this woman. All she had to do was give her family and friends personal information. It started with an unexpected phone call from a 1-800 number. Now this woman who we're calling Andrea is in fear of her and her loved one's safety. Andrea claims the caller on the other end of the line told her she won an iPad in a random raffle. She says the woman identified herself as a representative of a popular toothpaste brand. Andrea says she believed the call was credible and gave her the information she asked for. Andrea says this is when the call made a turn. She says the caller told her to claim the prize there would be a fee of $298. By then, the caller already had her loved one's information. Andrea tells us the person that called her mother went as far as threatening her with a lawsuit if she didn't pay the money. <laughs> We called the number looking for answers. A woman answered in Spanish. Yo soy una reportera aquí en el Valle del Sur de Texas. Nos llegó una queja de que estaban de este teléfono estafando a personas. She first told us we had reached the legal department for small lawsuit claims used by many companies across the U.S. She then said she worked for the state of Texas. Okay. Without much more, she hung up. We called back to try to find out more. I asked a woman for her department's website. She couldn't provide one. Andrea says in hindsight, the red flags were there. She's speaking out in hopes others won't be so trusting when something seems too good to be true. President of the Better Business Bureau of the Rio Grande Valley, Dolores Salinas, tells us now Andrea has to notify her family and friends so they can be on the lookout. From the Cameron County Newsroom, Daisy Martinez, Channel 5 News at 6. In this Channel 5 News Extra, the BBB tells us if a raffle or drawing is legit, the winner will never be asked for references or payment in exchange for the prize. The Bureau also looked up the 1-800 number for us. It isn't affiliated with or registered with any BBB accredited business. And we looked up the address where the woman would pick up the prize. That led us to the Harlingen Police Department.